Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome. I'm Eric Green, Director of the National Human Genome Research Institute, and I'd like to welcome all of you uh, to the third pair of speakers that we have as part of a celebratory um, period of time uh, commemorating the 10th anniversary of the completion of the Human Genome Project. Uh, by way of reminder, we have uh, uh, a number of events uh, this uh, spring, uh, and, uh, including uh, these paired lectures. Uh, you're at the middle of three. Um, but I also want to put a plug in for our April 25th all-day symposium at Natural Auditorium. Uh, we hope you'll join us there as well. And if you can't make any of these or you uh, have colleagues who wish they could have seen it or would have been here, including the symposium and all the lectures, um, these are all being uh, video uh, taped and will be video archived on, uh, on Genome TV channel at YouTube associated with our institute uh, and will be up for uh, forever for you to view. Uh, as uh, hopefully some of you came to our first set of paired lecture, uh, we, we decided to do something a little different for these, uh, to, to gather individuals that we thought would be interesting to hear as a, as a pair. Um, also to stimulate a discussion around important areas of genomics. And I think uh, you will quickly find out that uh, the pair of speakers we selected today uh, certainly fit the bill of both being experts in their areas, but also uh, uh, addressing topics that are of great interest, and, uh, and certainly the one today is. And the format is going to be we're going to have uh, both speakers give their presentations, but we've built this in with a, a considerable amount of time to have um, a, a question and answer and hopefully discussion um, at the end. And we will save all the discussion of the questions after both speakers have, um, have given their presentations. So let me do the introductions of both, and then I'm going to uh, turn this over to so you can hear the speakers. So the first speaker you're going to hear from is Dr. Isaac, or Zach uh, Kohane, who is the director of Children's Hospital Boston Informatics Program. At Harvard Medical School, he's the Henderson Professor of Pediatrics and Health Sciences and Technology. He's also the co-director of the Center for Biomedical Informatics and director of the Conway Library of Medicine. Now, Zach leads multiple collaborations in the use of genomics and computer science to study cancer and the development of the brain with a particular emphasis on autism. He has developed several computer systems to allow multiple hospital systems to be used as a living laboratory, if you will, to study the genetic basis of disease while preserving patient privacy. Zach received his medical degree from Boston University School of Medicine. He then completed an internship, residency, and fellowship at Children's Hospital Boston. His current research builds on his doctoral work in computer science on decision support and subsequent research in machine learning applied to biomedicine. He has led the development of new health identification systems, automated personal health records, and peer-to-peer -peer pathology informatics networks. Zach leads several NIH-funded efforts to translate genomic research into clinical practice and continues his own practice in pediatric endocrinology um, in Boston. And finally, Zach is a founder of the Center for Outcomes and Policy Research at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and founder and associate director for the Center for Genetic Epidemiology at Harvard Medical School. After Zach has given his presentation, the second speaker uh, will be Dr. George Church. Uh, George is professor of genetics at Harvard Medical School, and for many years, George has been a pioneering contributor to the field of genomics, particularly in the development of technologies for performing genome analysis and particularly uh, DNA sequencing. In addition, he's a highly regarded um, for being an outstanding mentor to many talented trainees who themselves have become important contributors to the field of genomics. George earned his PhD from Harvard in 1984, and his early work included developing the first methods for direct genome sequencing, um, molecular multiplexing, and barcoding. These techniques led to generating one of the first genome sequences uh, for the pathogen Helobacter pylori in 1994. His work then in developing next generation genome sequencing and also synthesis and cell and tissue engineering has resulted in 12 companies spanning fields including medical genomics and synthetic biology. George is also the director of personalgenomes.org, providing open access information on human genomic, environmental, and trait data. He's also director of uh, an NHGRI Center for Excellence in Genomic Science. Among his many honors, and there are many honors, he was elected to the National Academy of Sciences and also the National Academy of Engineering. And uh, one other honor uh, that came about recently, he was awarded the Franklin Institute Bauer Award for Achievement in Science. So we have two very distinguished speakers uh, talking about a very important topic, and the general area we're going to be discussing today is genomic data privacy and risk. 
So we'll start off with Zach. <laughs> 